Hi friends, um, here I am presenting my seminar topic on uh, Goddess of Revenge. We already discussed about uh, uh, major elements of historical thoughts relating with this uh, Goddess of Revenge written by Lalitambika Andhajanam. So let's go through the um, concluding part that is it means the uh, um, final part of this um topic here we can uh, we know that um it's a story about kuriyadutta datri and um uh, the case of smarta vijara that is uh, happened in 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 kerala um that is always been a, a great mystery in kerala and during her trial of her prostitution she began to recite the name of all her famous clients uh, that made a great impact on the society and great men fell the king had to stop the trial uh, due to this uh, these problems and the dhatri case became a turning point in the history of women's reforms also the uh, this novel of pradigara devada uh, leads Uh, leads we are smarta vijaram was a trial of a nambudiri woman and fellow male adulteries who were accused of illegitimate sexual relations if the accused women was found guilty she and the men found involved with her were excommunicated from the caste and banished the trial was mainly conducted by the smartas from three battadiri families and um this practice is not existing today and we can understand from this this part of this um novel um, our uh we can see there is our writer lalitambika andarjanam herself and she is writing it is in her point of view and we can see it as a first person writer and also the another character um uh, is uh, uh, kuriyadutta datri and we can um, see her as a imaginary in this novel or real but um, at the end of the novel we can understand that there are such, some mysterious things about the um this characters and the um in this part we can see um she is telling about the historical uh, things that happened to her and here we can see she mentioned some evidences which is one man's ring with his name engraved on it and another gold waist chain and another's gold bordered uh, angavastram uh she used these evidences the pieces of evidence were used to prove the guilt of 65 men including vaidigans also uh, they includes uh, vaidigans too and um that was not just these 65 but uh, that was more than 65000 men um that uh, we can see that uh the trial shaked shaked the um major pillars of caste system and such um higher and lower class societies uh, thoughts and ideologies and um she during the conversation between the uh, writer and kuriyadutta uh, datri we can see that uh there are lots of um um con- uh, debates like a uh, conversation is happening between them so um that uh, the historical trial had to end here but datri continues uh, her speech like she says that the intelligent woman who practiced this profession could have brought ruin upon entire families of landlords and wealthy aristocrats 
and um, she says that uh, the power of nambudri woman's curse and also the historical trial so uh, she says that it's not an act not an simple revenge performed by a prostitute or uh, it's an expression of the desire for revenge which is experienced by all nambudri women who are caught in the meshes of evil customs here we can see that uh, our uh, writer became uh, sat dazed and uh, she can't unable to utter a single word sorry single word while she uh, recounted this extraordinary story and she became as a frozen and um, after some times uh, with anger and grief uh, she talks about the slave like lives of under genomes and uh, but we can see that the novelist was not at all satisfied now also we can see that many of this uh, nambudiri family and women in the nambudiri families and also um, both or uh, both of upper class and lower class you can see that they are in such a helpless um, way or um, here also we can see they are considering as such inferior in this patriarchal society but the reaction of novelist um, was not at all supporting to kuriyadutha dhatri because we can see that um she reacting that uh, she says that i have deep sympathy for you truly you are not a not an individual anymore you are society itself you are timidity and weakness weeping before strength helpless woman who is screaming for justice blood stained humanity whose desires and talents have been ground into dust um by this sentence we can see uh, she is she tries to uh, support in this um, matter but after some times she changes and she talks also about the other side of this revolutionary event for that sh she used some questions um for this her part that uh, we can see as why did you not try to inspire all the other weak and slavish under genomes that was a one among the question and next one was why did you shoulder the burden of the revenge all alone that is we can see that um she only she tried to make such a revolutionary change through her own act men are uh, always torturing upon women and here we can see um she used even while i recognize your courage and self respect i disagree with you she openly the novelist openly reacts against um the event and also she conveys her thought but nambudri society can never forget that tree and both we can see um sometimes she opposing the ideas and sometimes she want to be real um realistic and also in the eyes of the world the sacrifice of dhatri is remembered only as a legal affair involving a prostitute an affair that certainly created a turmoil but didn't uh, succeed in point the way to give any uh, anything positive and again used as a weapon and we can see the uh, this event or this uh, historical um trial again used as a weapon to torture under genomes and we can see as not so like good in some ways like 
uh, one coin a single coin we know that there are two sides positive and negative like this here also our novelist uh, ladidambika andarjanam she is um she is commenting in that way novelist um, showed a very sympathetic way um towards um this person and uh, she says that from the heart of uh, her great silence um she uh, she inspires her through as a brave warning and a cry of victory in the society and in the minds of the generations to come the cry uh, will be um or it will still burns high and threatening in the society so um the sins of the pradigara devada or the goddess of revenge are forgiven so we can see uh, in this part um such a realization of the sin here the courier the datri or that person she assumes as datri she realizes that her sin and uh, in her own words she says oh i am a sinner a fallen woman and evil spirit even my shadow must never fall over society she understand um, understands herself and um we can see through this word she realizes um the all things that she did is not at all what not at all uh, pure or good and uh, this is the end of this part here we can see uh, the actual thing what happened the morning mist dream and continuing to talk her from form faded slowly here the that form the first part of this um the story we saw that she saw a faded image like a shadow and that was not at all clear sometimes so that form faded slowly in the morning and dissolving like the morning mist like a morning mist it faded slowly and the crowing of the cock walk me from my dream that the crowing of the cock um walk her uh, from her dream so we can see that she is in a dream and she imagined about uh, the historical events of kuriyadatha datri and she interpreted in her own manner here lalitambika and the janam interpreted using her point of view and we can see at the end of this part she used her own um her own suggestion or her own perspective uh, thought related with this um historical event um we can see she is um, she is in a neutral state she explained about both positive and negative okay i think that you got an overall idea about uh, the end session of this pradigara devada okay thank you thank you so much